Hannah B and welcome back to my channel for another video yes it's me your girl I'm back with another video today's video is a get ready with me because I work two jobs now and both of my jobs require me to be in a full face of makeup so I decided that I should maybe film one of my looks for you guys so here's one of my looks that I um I'm going to be wearing to work today actually and all the products that I use will be listed down below and also I will be putting links to my lashes and highlighter that I use today by the Ebony Collection. It's a black owned business, the black owned beauty brand, lash brand, whatever, um, super fast shipping, super cheap actually. And so I'm going to be giving you some more details about that in the video. But if you want to know how I got this look, stay tuned. All right, everybody. Let's just get straight into the video. So like I said, this is a get ready with me. I'm going to be talking you through it. I am not a professional makeup artist in any stretch of the imagination like I am such an amateur it's really ridiculous I barely know what I'm doing even though everybody says that oh you like you clearly know what you're doing now I don't so let's just get started the first thing I'm gonna do is use the hangover hangover RX um, replenishing face primer by Too Faced I don't know if you can see it my light is really bright it doesn't want to focus whatever but um this is the primer that I use. Um, I've been through quite a few primers, and this one might be like in my top five primers of like all time. I just take like that much, which is kind of a lot, but I just take that much and I swoosh it all in my hand. Boom. And I'm really rough and aggressive with my face, I think. So I just put it all over my face like that in my neck I give my primer a couple minutes to set and then I go back and I spray it with a finishing spray the finishing spray that I've been using I have been dedicated to and have not deviated from in a long time is the matte finishing spray by NYX this stuff is great it works um the dewy spray is also pretty good but I have like oily combination skin so any opportunity that my face gets to basically grease up, it'll take it. So I just spray my face. As I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade deep and this includes the colors nude coral chocolate espresso carob 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 and rich health well rich earth I usually use the medium kit but um, I saw this at Marshall's and I was like, you know what? I'm in desperate need for a new kit because at the time I was in a desperate need for a new kit. And so I decided to just go ahead and pick this one up because I could use these two colors. I needed a new contour shade. Um, but this, I can't do anything with that. But I can contour all three of these. Um, they all kind of make me look dirty, I'm not going to lie. But just just gonna see today one is too one is too cool and the other one is too like this is a really cool um palette to me or is it a warm palette i don't know how the colors work there's a lot of blue and a lot of yeah it's a lot of blue to me it's a lot of blue in this but i'm gonna go in with an angled brush and this is just a PSA if dirty brushes freak you out I'm sorry I do my makeup every day my brushes are dirty I do wash my brushes I just may not wash them every day I may wash them every couple of days but just so you know if dirty brushes aren't your thing and you're gonna be triggered then you need to click off this video like immediately don't watch the rest just watch the intro and maybe watch how I put my lashes on but that's it so 
I'm gonna take the color nude, which is right here, this color. It looks really yellow on camera, but it's pink, basically. Just a regular nude color, I guess. And I'm gonna clean up my brows with this. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Real Techniques sponge and um, I'm going to go in and clean it up. Now I have two miniature Real Techniques sponges, this is what they look like, just small and purple. And I'm going to go in and I'm just going to try to um, blend out some of this concealer. I'm just gonna put my sponge right there the next thing that I'm gonna do is do some type of color on my eyes I usually don't wear a lot of eyeshadow in general but I'm trying to become a new me so I'm gonna do some color on my eyes I'm gonna be priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion like everybody else does this is a great primer it definitely keeps your eyes from not creasing and I have the travel size one simply because I like the wand I have a full size one and so what I do is when the travel size one gets low I just squirt some of the full size one into this bottle so I can use the wand We'll rub it in. We'll rub it in. I have been using this primer potion literally maybe since like 2011, 2012. Um, it's a great product and I recommend that everybody get it. So the two palettes that I'm gonna be pulling inspiration from today are the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place, the original Nubia palette, and the Life's a Festival palette by Too Faced. So, in the Nubian palette, I bet you can't tell which color I use the most, I'm gonna be going in with this brown color right here with a reasonably sized fluffy brush, also from one of the many travel sets from um, BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go in with the with this fluffy brush. And this is always what I start my crease out with, with um wearable looks, I guess. I always put this in my crease. And I always use a fluffy brush when I do it. Because I like a decent amount of makeup on my face. And whatever I don't like, I literally just tone down with um, foundation and my concealer but yeah so I use this in my crease always until I know exactly what I want to do so looks a little wild right now I'm not that close to the camera because this isn't a tutorial but you'll definitely be able to see what I come up with next I'm gonna go into this life's a festival palette here are all the colors. This palette has been out now for like maybe a month, month and a half, two months. So it's not new, it's all over YouTube. And actually, I don't really know what color I wanna wear today. I'm not a springtime person at all. Um, I prefer dark fall colors. So I'm actually going to go in with this flat eyeshadow brush from e.l.f. This is what it looks like. This brush is super old. I've had this brush since like my freshman year of college. It's like one of the first makeup brushes, like actual real makeup brushes that I actually bought for myself. 
super crazy, super trippy. And I think I'm gonna go in with, I'm gonna go in with Till, Dust Till Dawn, which is this teal color right here, Dust Till Dawn. And I'm gonna put that on my, I'm lying, I'm not gonna do that. I'm at the bowl. I'm gonna go with Sunset Dream, which is this orange color right here. And I'm gonna put that all over my lid. With this flat brush all over the lid. Actually, I'm going to just spray my brush with, spray my brush with some setting spray. Like super old trick to whip the brush up or whatever. I found out that it works better for like iridescence and um, metallic colors, glittery colors. It just makes it more pigmented. So I'm going to go back into the Sunset Dream. And y'all are going to instantly see the difference even from all the way back here. I will say that wet it seems like it does go on a little patchy not gonna lie but nevertheless it is a really pretty color like look how much more pigmented my eye is now that's crazy I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side euphoric and I'm gonna take another fluffy brush this is it and I thought these had numbers on them but apparently they don't so I'm just gonna take another fluffy brush and I'm gonna take euphoric and I'm kind of just gonna sweep it over the top Alright, I'm going to go back in with that brown um, from before. I'm just going to take the same brush um, and use leftovers. I'm not going to dip it back into the palette. And I'm just going to just clean up this part and blend everything in at the top. And I'm really basic when it comes to eyeshadows. I want to get more involved with my eyeshadows, but I'm scary. Can y'all hear the geese outside? They are just having a ball. All right, now it's actually time to work on the rest of my face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color correct under my eyes and around my mouth with the 
orange color out of my the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit. I'm gonna take a small stippling brush from Elf Cosmetics and I'm just gonna dip it in here and I'm gonna go to work. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my go-to foundation of the moment, which is the uh, Sephora brand foundation. This is the 10-hour um, wear, this oil-free foundation, and I wear it in the color Deep, 56 Deep. This foundation is better than any foundation that's in the store, and I literally don't understand why we out here paying 40 50 dollars for you know name brand foundation when this can get the job done like i've been wearing it for like a month now and it is literally the best foundation i've ever worn and i have been i was like a diehard urban decay girl at one point in time i was recently just a diehard uh born this way girl i was a diehard um kat von d you know makeup wearer but like foundation wearer but like now this has changed my life it's only 20 bucks i don't understand it's the best foundation in the store maybe because it's not brand name brand and everybody's a label whore that they won't pick it up but this is like legit like for so for sore sephora brand products are good so you like you should try them but um this is my go-to foundation for right now so i'm just gonna put some on my beauty blender and Now that I've done this part, I'm gonna get ready to conceal and contour with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna take the same angle brush from earlier. Now let me tell you this. I used to conceal with this Die Hard Concealer. Um, with the LA Pro Girl Concealer in Fawn, that was my color. Yep, in Fawn, that was my color. And to be honest, I still do like this concealer, but if you don't like set it a couple times it oils up your face and so that's the only pro I have against this one especially for me or maybe it just does it for me I don't know how many other people's faces it just oils up but I really do like this concealer it just makes me look oily and I have to blot like constantly and it won't like really set for me 
So I'm just gonna take the same angle brush again and I'm gonna go under my eye. I don't really draw shapes like how some people do, but I do like clean up my makeup with it. So I'm just gonna go under my eye, like so. Boom. I'm actually quite satisfied with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do lips and then eyes will be the very last thing that I do. Well, finishing my eyes will be the very last thing that I do. So, don't laugh at me, but this is my lip pencil. This is one of my favorite lip pencils and I just honestly need to go buy more. But it is a NYX pencil and I believe it's just in the color like espresso or like brown or something like that. So, I'm just gonna go top of my lip I don't even know if you can see it because it's like <laughs> it's non-existent and today I'm gonna use a lip lingerie by NYX. I'm gonna use Honeymoon, which So I'm just using the regular NYX matte um, liquid liner. This is what it looks like and it has a felt tip, I believe. Yeah. Or no is that a brush okay it has a brush tip I'm not gonna do like a wing liner or anything like that because I'm not talented enough to do that um, I'm really basic so I'm just gonna so I do my under uh, I line under my eyes y'all know what I'm trying to say I line under my eyes with the Marc Jacobs a cream liner this is a sample that I got from Sephora I'm gonna buy the full version don't worry but I got this sample and I didn't want to use it for the long time because it's so creamy and let me just show you how creamy it is like look how creamy that is it's real creamy and so it's really easy for me to just go in under my eye without even having like to pull my eye down to do it
for the fun part of the video, I have three pairs of lashes that I purchased from the Ebony Collection, which is a black owned lash, uh, Meek Lash Line. And so, if you follow me on social media, I've already worn the flashy set, super pretty. So today, I'm gonna rock the bombshell set. And she also has highlighters. And so I picked up one of her loose highlighters. This is called Bronze Bliss. And I am probably gonna wear this today as well. And I'm also gonna swatch it for you later. This is the case. It has the name right at the top, Bombshell. And the slide. I've never been good with these sliding cases on these lashes. I always mess them up. Okay. I don't know if it's supposed to come all the way off, sorry. <laughs> but um, they slide and those are the lashes and they are so pretty, you guys. So the glue that I use, uh, for unfortunately, I can't tell you the name of this glue. All I know is it's this super extra hold eyelash adhesive in black. And I believe that it's by Kiss, but it's all rubbed off. Also, like curved really nicely, so they're not even hard to put on. And then, ooh, girl, for the highlighter, I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight different from the rest of my highlighter, just to play with it a little. Um, I'm gonna use her bronze bliss, also again from the Ebony Collection. It says it right there, the Ebony Collection, and. It is a loose powder highlighter. So this is what it looks like. And I'm actually just gonna use a little bit right out of the lid. I'm gonna try to do a swatch for you guys. I'm a little ashy, but that's what it looks like. It's super pretty. It's a super pretty bronzy, goldy color. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. All right, this is my finished makeup look. Um, I'm gonna powder and set. Actually, I'm not gonna powder. I don't use as much um, powder as I used to because I set my face underneath my makeup now. So I'm just gonna do this to my face and then I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna be right back with my finished look. Alright you guys, this is my final look. I just threw some wand curls in my hair, nothing too spectacular or fantastic. I just want to lay down. Um, but yeah, that is it. I hope you liked the video. If you have not, please subscribe, rate, comment, hit that bell on the side so you can be notified every time that I post a video. If you do not follow me on any of my social medias, you might want to. Hannah Brunel W on all social medias. That's it. There's nothing else. If it doesn't say Hannah Brunel W, no spaces or anything, then it's not me. 
Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, exclusive material will be released on my social medias. So make sure that you are subscribed and are following me everywhere. And like for like updates or when videos are gonna be released or posted, they're nine times out of ten gonna be released. They're nine times out of ten gonna be announced on like Snapchat or Instagram or whatever. But uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.